lost baggage, long delays, it all adds what up to one thing. You are the worst airline when it comes to customer service. Let's ask Scott McCartney. He's our middle seat columnist and he compiles these rankings. He's got them here exclusively on lunch break. Hey, Scott. Hi, Wendy. Well, I've got, I get to do two drum rolls today. So I'm giving a sort of mock drum roll here. Who was the worst airline? Uh, American Airlines. Uh, bankruptcy is not good for customers. Um, <laughs> it was a very tough year for, for American Airlines uh, in terms of uh, on-time performance. Um, they, were, they were last in baggage handling. They were uh, last in, uh, in canceled flights. Uh, for, they canceled 2.4% uh, of every single flight they had. Um, it was a it was a tough year for American. Now I don't want to be a downer, okay, because I want to get to the best as well. But very quickly before we get to who was the best, how do you compile these rankings, Scott? Because this is something you do for your column specifically. It, yeah, it's a mixture of uh, government data from uh, from the Department of Transportation uh, and uh, and data from a service called Flight Stats, um, which is a flight tracking service. Uh, they they uh, track uh, in real time flights from uh, uh, from FAA computers, from airline computers, and, and from airports as well. Um, it, it's been highly accurate over the years, uh, a really good source of data. And so here on January 4th, uh, we can have um, pretty complete data for the full year. Now, the, the uh, Department of Transportation uh, gives us uh, baggage handling, customer complaints, right. um, uh, bumped passengers, uh, data like that. And they're only up through October so far for the year, but uh, but it gives you a pretty good yeah. read of what happened in 2011. All right, very comprehensive. Now let's get to who was the best. Uh, best, uh, uh, two worth mentioning, uh, Alaska Airlines, um, which has done quite well in, in recent years, um, is really running a good operation. Um, fascinating to, to me, uh, they, they, uh, they were not a particularly well-performing airline uh, three or four years ago. Um, they launched a, a major initiative to, to fix the, the operation. Um, they have, just on departing a flight, they have 50 different uh, points on a timeline that they, they have to meet. Right. It's all over the operation, catering, fueling, uh, gate agents, flight attendants. Everybody has specific times um, that they have to meet. It's all logged in, tracked. Uh, so they're, they're really running a, a very precise operation. So good and, and good Delta Air Good turnaround for them, Scott. Quickly before I let you go, I have to ask you about one thing, though. Pet deaths. Now, you chronicle this. What do you, what do you mean when, you, when it comes to pet deaths on planes? Well, the Department of Transportation reports uh, deaths on, on airplanes. Delta, um, which had a remarkable turnaround last year, is very good in their operation. Uh, but, uh, but pet deaths, uh, they, of the 30 pet deaths among major airlines, 16 were on Delta flights. Um, so I think there's uh, clearly something that's different at, at Delta. Uh, they say they're they're working on their procedures and uh, and uh, policies and trying to uh, to fix that. And that would be obviously pets probably uh, uh, traveling underneath the plane in, in some capacity. Is that right? Not pets that were on the plane. Yeah. No. Almost always uh, pets traveling yeah. um, as check baggage. 